relations between Cold War enemies stand to become increasingly chilly. Russia has now hit back at the U.S. and suspended its role in the INF, or Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. It's an agreement that's kept nuclear missiles out of Europe for more than three decades. We will provide a mirror-like response. The Americans say they'll suspend their participation in the deal, so we are suspending it as well. They said they'll engage in research and development programs. We will do the same. A day earlier, the U.S. announced it will pull out of the treaty in six months. It claimed Russia had violated the agreement dozens of times. You have to have everybody adhere to it. And you have a certain side that uh, almost pretends it doesn't exist, pretty much pretends it doesn't exist. So unless we're going to have something that we all agree to, we can't be put at the disadvantage of going by a treaty, limiting what we do when somebody else doesn't go by that treaty. Russia denies the accusations, but says it will begin creating new missiles not defined under the deal. As a way of reassuring Europe, Putin says he won't deploy weapons there or any other region unless the United States does so first. The European Union has called on all sides to stick to the INF. Uh, what we definitely don't want to see is uh, our continent going back to being a battlefield or a place where uh, other superpowers uh, confront themselves. Putin says he doesn't want to start a new arms race, but many fear the U.S. could seek to counter this potential Russian threat with medium-range missiles of its own, leaving the world in a potentially more dangerous place. Christine Pirovolakis, TRT World.